In this tutorial, I want to look at how we um, add some supports to our roller coaster track. But before we do that, I want to bank um, some of the corners. So at the moment, when we go around the corners, uh, we're actually um, on the horizontal. But um, I'm sure you're aware that most roller coaster rides actually have you banking into the corners so that you're sort of tilted at a bit of an angle as you go around the bend. Um, so we can do that by selecting a vertex point on a corner and then using um, these degrees at the top here to determine how far we want that corner to turn. Now I can't remember if we want to go minus 45 or plus 45 here, but let's just have a guess. Let's go minus 45 and I think that's probably put a bit of a bend so that we're going into the corner. Then as we go around here, let's go to a, a plus 45 and plus 45 there as well and then maybe as we come through this uh, bend we might want to add some um, banking as well but we'll just have a look at it first in a 3d view so let's go to our 3d view at the moment um, I can't when I move my mouse nothing happens but when I um, left click um, I'm locked in when I right click I'm actually free to move around now, once I've right-clicked, I can actually hold down my left button, mouse button and that will enable me to move around. So as I come down, can you see that I can lock myself back in by pressing the right mouse button again. So right mouse button enables me to move around and I can lock myself in again by pressing it a second time and then my mouse is active and I can select that vertex point the one that I created before it was originally set at 0 degrees but I pressed on minus 45 so that I sort of tilt into this corner and I could increase that a little bit more if I wanted there we go I think that's pretty good so we're going to come around that bend then we're going to straighten up and as we come around this side I've got a bit of a banked corner built in again here. Let's make that a little bit more severe. I think we made that plus 45, so let's go for another 10 degrees. And we go around this side, and we've got a vertex point over there. We'll add an extra 10 degrees to that one. And then we come out the other side, and we do this loop the loop, and come out the opposite end. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually create a banked corner here, but the problem being, oops, problem being that it's actually going to put in a little bit of a twist into this loop the loop. So if I'm happy um, with that, then that will, then I can deal with that. But um, sometimes people prefer when they're riding their roller coaster ride that they don't actually have. Um, banked corners and twists sort of combining together. So that will bring us back around to the station again. Okay, so let's revert back to our top view now. So we've add, added some uh, banked corners in, um, remembering that if, if we changed our mind and we didn't like it, we can select that vertex point and then click on zero to set it back to what it originally was. Um, but what I want to do now is just zoom in a little bit and talk a little bit about supports. So at the moment, we don't have any supports on our roller coaster track. It's, it's like it's um, hovering just above the ground. Um, but what we need to do is to add some supports in immediately after, all the way around to just before the station. The station doesn't need any supports. Um, because when you ride the simulator, you can see that it's built on a concrete base. But the supports that we need to start off with are just single supports, and we just need to evenly space those around the roller coaster circuit. And as we click them into uh, position, oops. there we go. Now we're now we're better. Single support. As we click those into position, a little red dot will appear. So you can see that I'm just trying to evenly space those around. Now the single support is perfect for segments 
um, that don't have any banked curves in them. Now, if I've got a banked corner, I actually need to use this type of support, the 90 degree banking support. It's not going to be a suitable for all banked corners, but um, in the most uh, severe case, it's going to be, um, or when the corner is really um, severely banked, it's going to be fantastic. So let's just scroll across so we can see that. You can see there's a little handle sticking out to the top. I'll zoom in a little bit more uh, to show us how that uh, banking is occurring. So let's zoom out. We've got a few more than we need there, so I'm just going to select that middle one and press delete on my keyboard. And I might just come back here to this one and space it out a little bit more evenly. Yep. So let's come back and add these banked corner supports. And our, just our straight supports will be fine here. And we might add some banked corner supports. We don't need to worry about what side um, the support will go out. Um, the computer automatically knows whether to push it out to the right or to the left. Okay, now we're coming to a slightly tricky section of the roller coaster ride. And what we want to do here is we're going to use just um, supports immediately underneath. I'll zoom in just to make sure I'm putting the supports in the right area. Just straight supports in these sections. But um, on the side view you'll see that what we want to do is we want to, there's my last support, we want to have a support around here, and then a support there, and down the opposite side, as we keep going. But at the top here, we actually want what is referred to as an inverted support. So let's select inverted support, and when I click in, in the middle, you'll see that it drops supports, when I go back to my top view, it drops arms out either side, so that won't interfere with the roller coaster ride. Okay, let's come back down. We'll put in some more banked corner supports. Again, I'm scrolling down the page by using the scroll key on my mouse. And I've put in some banked corner supports there where they don't belong. So I better just delete those. And I think I probably need, would be better off with just some straight supports there. Okay, so let's zoom out. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. So let's now, oops, I better add some supports under the braking section as well. There we go. So let's save that and ride the simulator and, and see how that's turned out. Hopefully we've now got a nice banked corner as well as some supports for our roller coaster ride. Again, it's going to take a while to load this track because as new features are added um, to, this, to the roller coaster's design, the file size increases. We'll speed up a little bit and press the plus key on our uh, number pad. And slow down, and now we've got our banked corner. Slows us down, a banked corner around the opposite way. Speeding up a little bit. Our loop the loop. Banked corner, 
and we stop in at the station. Now if I press E on my keyboard, I'm now in the fly view and if I come over here you'll be able to see that uh, the supports for the loop the loop um, mean that I'm actually able to lock myself in a position so that when I go upside down I don't actually have a support cutting through the middle of the roller coaster ride and that's very important um, because you'll be deducted points um, in your assessment mark if there are supports cutting through the middle of the track. Okay, let's press escape um, and quit out of the simulator and that's the end of this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial we're actually going to look at how we can change the type of roller coaster.